Okay, let's get started. I'm in the uh, service drive here at the dealership, so we're just gonna go ahead and pull outside. Uh, I do have the sunroof up. That way my camera's kind of pointing down so you can see the uh, instrument cluster and the dashboard here as we get started. Uh, later when we get out on the road, I'll probably close it down so you can hear uh, just how quiet it is inside the 4Runner uh, with the sunroof closed. So this is your TRD off-road uh, premium package. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get started, head out on the road, and then I'll talk about some of the features as we uh, drive. So let's do it. So TRD Off-Road Premium. Uh, this one cut sticker price is uh, right at about 48,000. Uh, and it's not just the premium edition. Uh, it does have the factory moonroof, which is an extra charge, uh, which is where my camera is connected right now. Uh, it also has the uh, TRD uh, wheels on the outside. So uh, if you didn't catch my exterior video of it, uh, check at the end of the video for a description or a link to the uh, exterior video uh, that I did earlier today. So here's a nice big hill. Let's check out the acceleration. I will say that the uh, Forerunner is not going to run it, win any uh, SUV races. Uh, it's 270 horsepower, 4 liter V6, 278 uh, foot pounds of torque. Uh, but that was eco mode, and I guess I could have uh, or should have switched it into uh, more of the power mode, if you will. Um, but even so, it's it's not. This is not a race car, not designed to be a race car. Um, it is designed for off-road driving. Go ahead and uh, turn on to the boulevard here. This is Whitney Way in Madison, Wisconsin. And uh, today's March, what, uh, 10th. And a little bit of snow on the ground. Uh, there is an outside temperature, and the temperatures are telling me that it's uh, 30 degrees out. So the interior on the TRD off-road. Uh, this is all black interior. Um, it's kind of a patterned upper uh, dashboard. It's not padded on this side. Um, there's kind of a gunmetal gray trim uh, over on the dashboard here. And then they do use a gloss kind of a charcoal gray gloss metallic finish around the center console here. So that's not black, that's actually a, a charcoal color. Um, we do have a leather wrap steering wheel, it's padded, really thick, perforated around the edges here and then solid up here. Uh, it is not a heated steering wheel, uh, it's not even an option on it. We do have blind spot monitoring on this one, so I can see in my mirror an indicator that there is a car in my blind spot here on my left-hand side. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go up on the highway here, and I'm gonna close the sunroof so you can hear the engine noise as I accelerate. So we'll see how fast I can get up to 60 miles an hour here. And there's a trustworthy FJ Cruiser. That is the uh, stalwart of off-road vehicles. They discontinued it a couple of years, but let's see if I can keep up with this uh, Tesla up here. And apparently he's not buying into what I'm buying into. So let's kind of merge out onto the highway. So this is the Beltline Highway here in Madison, and the uh, Toyota store, Smart Toyota's here on the right. I'm surprised by how smooth the ride is, um, being a TRD off-road, so it's got a stiffer off-road suspension, but it's very smooth. I can hardly feel the, the uh, tires on the road, um, so pretty well isolated from road noise and such. It's gonna dial in some uh, heating and air conditioning. 
So as far as our uh, entertainment or info, infotainment center here, this does have dynamic navigation. This is an eight inch touchscreen and um, it does have points of interest. So here it's telling me uh, the next exits and the restaurants and all the different things going up, going on as I head up the road here. Um, it's a very good sound system for sure. Um, of course, there's no CD player. It does have Apple CarPlay, Android, and Alexa compatible. Um, also, Sirius XM satellite radio, premium subscription for three months, and then you pay extra after that for um, Sirius XM on a monthly basis. So, um, interesting thing about the uh, the off-road premium. The heating and air conditioning, these large knobs down here, these are um, just dials. Um, there's no automatic temperature control. So your old school fan, your old school uh, fan controls, old school temperature gauges, all down there as well. Gonna just uh, keep quiet for a couple seconds so you can hear how it sounds. And we'll give it a quick pass here to see what the acceleration looks like. There is a, a turnabout here, so sometimes there's officers there. So I'll wait until I get past there and we'll give it a shot here. So that pretty nicely got up to, I was doing about 60 and I hit 80 pretty quickly. So 20 miles an hour uh, rolling past I think it no problem there and there's one of our friendly officers right there and uh, just doing a good job keeping us safe go ahead and take the next exit gauges are easy to use huge tachometer huge speedometer just at a glance you can see what's going on in terms of your speed and your engine performance Now the seats on the uh, TRD uh, off-road premium, we've got uh, the Softec fabric seats uh, with TRD badging embroidered in the headrest, the front headrest only. There's a TRD shift lever, leather wrapped, little silver trim on that. Don't know if you can see that. Let me uh, put the sunroof back up and bring that camera down here. Hopefully you can see it now. Uh, we've got USB charging port down here. We've got a 12 volt outlet down here as well. Um, little cubbies down below. There's no wireless charging on uh, the Forerunner in the TRD uh, off road edition. Uh, we do have a manual four wheel drive shift lever as opposed to the dial shift. Uh, the dial shift is going to be on the TRD, uh, the SR5 or the Sport Edition will have the, the dial to be able to shift into four-wheel drive, but this has the handle down on the, down on the floor there. Um, back up above, let me go ahead and put this back down. Up above, we've got an automatic dimming mirror. Uh, we've got controls on the roof line up here for our um, active track, as well as our call, crawl control system, which is really an amazing system. We've got our differential lock up here, our traction control on and off, and then there are um, home link buttons. So there's three buttons for your garage doors, programmable garage doors, and then also there's a switch up there for safety connect uh, in the event that you need roadside assistance. Um, have a problem out on the road, uh, push the button, Toyota will get you roadside assistance. They do not provide off-road assistance. So if you get off-road and you get stuck, you get in over your head, you can push the button. They're not going to pay for the recovery of your vehicle, but maybe they'll help you get a tow truck to come out and dig you out of the woods or wherever you're at. It's going to be completely at your expense. Um, this vehicle can go through a lot, but it's not invincible. It's not a Sherman tank, so... Um, but it is rock solid as a SUV. Uh, I was talking to somebody earlier today about the Forerunner, and in my opinion, the Forerunner is a true sport utility vehicle. Unlike 
uh, say the Honda Pilot or the Toyota Highlander or most of the SUVs on the road, what are called SUVs today. Um, and the reason I say this is a true SUV, sport utility vehicle, a number of things. Number one, it is a full body on frame build. So there's a physical frame underneath the Forerunner, just like you'd have on a pickup truck. And that makes the body of the vehicle much more rigid, much more solid, and much more durable for off-road uh, capabilities. Like the Jeep Wrangler is a body on frame construction. The Toyota Land Cruiser, the Toyota Sequoia, these are all body on frame SUVs, sport utility vehicles. Um, vehicles like the Highlander, like the RAV4, like the Honda Pilot, um, all of those are built on a unibody construction. And what that means is there is no frame under that vehicle. The body of the car is the frame. Um, it's not a bad construction, Not even, in fact, probably 70 plus percent of all vehicles on the road are unibody constructions. But bear in mind, 70 to 80 percent of the cars on the road will never go off-road other than maybe over to the pavilion at the local park uh, and so if you are going to do off-road driving as a hobby or uh, maybe you have some property uh, this is going to be the right vehicle for that the other thing about the forerunner that sets it apart from other suvs um, is that it is a rear-wheel drive vehicle. So when I'm not in four-wheel drive, when I haven't shifted to four-wheel drive on a day like today, I'm driving in a rear-wheel drive vehicle. Um, that's not good or bad. It's just something you need to be aware of because if the roads are slippery and I'm not in four-wheel drive, I might have a little challenge uh, with tail spins and those types of things. So just be aware of that. Where with an SUV like a Highlander, the Highlander is actually an all-wheel drive system. And depending on whether it's a hybrid or a, or a gasoline edition, those vehicles in many cases are giving most of the power to the front wheels and then have the ability to adjust the power to the rear wheels, left or right, whatever's needed based on wheel spin. And so those vehicles are really great for driving on the road in inclement weather because you don't have to do anything. You don't even have to think about it. It's taken care of automatic. When you get into a forerunner, know that you have some responsibility in bad weather to go ahead and switch it into four wheel drive. So those two elements are, are significant features about the forerunner that make it one of the best sport utility vehicles, off road vehicles in the marketplace and has been for years. Um, so just keep that in mind. It's going to ride more like a truck because of that, because it's rear wheel drive and you have a full frame underneath it, but it also makes it super durable and the ideal vehicle for off-road driving. So as far as the rest of the features on this one goes, um, it is, as I said, it does have cr crawl control, has a five speed automatic transmission, um, has an independent front suspension, coilover spring uh, front suspension with skid plates and tow hooks. Um, it has a differential that allows you to lock in and out the uh, rear wheels if you need to. Um, it has a, an amazing towing ability, um, over 6,000 pounds. So if you're going to tow a camper or a boat, snowmobile trailer, um, uh, ATV trailer, this is going to be the right vehicle for that. Um, not that you can't pull things behind a uh, Highlander, because you certainly can, but if you're going to be doing some heavy duty towing, um, maybe you're maybe you're going to do some boondocking with a camper and you want to be able to pull that camper off of the beaten path this is the right vehicle for you so this is the 2022 toyota 4runner trd off-road with the premium package and simply an amazing vehicle hey i hope you enjoyed the video if you uh if you did go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to an answer them for you. This particular unit, this 2022, is actually going to the Canoe Copia. It's a big paddle sports 
uh, uh, event here in Madison, Wisconsin, March 11th through the 13th at the Align Energy Center. So this vehicle will be there. If you want to stop by and see it, you're welcome to do that. And then uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is Tony talking car biz. Have a good one.